Hi one, hope you're doing well from whatever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, the recent information that has been shared by the NTV revealing that William Samuel Ruto and Gaza Gashagwa had an earlier meeting about Gashagwa's exit from office before the discussion about this serious impeachment. When the differences emerged between Ruto and Gashagwa, I know remember when Gashagwa was night choppers red carpet and all the privileges that comes with this office. So Gashagwa decided to sit down with William Ruto according to NTV and discuss about his exit package. So what did Gashagwa do? In this allegation they're saying that Gashagwa demanded 8 billion Kenyan shillings from William Samuel Ruto for him to exit the government. But it seems Ruto did not agree with the Gaza Gashagwa. And how did he arrive at the figure 8 billion? Gashagwa was multiplying every vote in Mount Kenya region that was, you know, counted on William Ruto's uh, basket by 4,000 Kenyan shillings. So he multiplied all the votes by 4,000 to arrive at 8 billion Kenyan shillings. So after Ruto refused, Gashagwa banged the table in anger. That is one of the reasons why Gashagwa should be impeached according to that. Remember, we are talking about Tuesday when the impeachment motion will be tabled in the House. Though I've had information about William Ruto now calling again for a meeting, a PG. So I don't know if for what? To stop or to endorse. We'll see it when it comes. Now, beside this, um, there is also allegation of Rigade Gashagwa accumulating 5.7 billion shillings in two years. You know, beside what Gashagwa had, just in two years' time, he has managed to have 5.7 billion. Which profit do you make like that in two years' time? Did you talk about Mushara, a deputy president, one million. In one year time, it is 12 million. Multiply by two to close two years, 24 million. Even if all his assets had appreciated in profit, in two years time, it can't accumulate to 5 billion, heading to 6 billion. Akuna. Because if you go and check, what Gashagwa had before he became the deputy president might be something to what Mudavadi had, just 4 billion or 3 billion there. But you see, in two years, he has accumulated 5.7 billion Kenyan shillings. It is also a ground for his impeachment because they're talking about the allegation of Nyayo House corruption that Gashagwa has been also mentioned in, according to this allegation that has been reported by NTV. Now, those who are privy to the impeachment motion, that is 40 page, the other allegation is that there was Malindi Kilifi Highway, where resources were set aside for the construction of that road. Instead, Gashagwa diverted the construction material for that road to uh, a private road leading to a hotel in Kilifi linked to him. Ume jenga hoteli, wukasikia barabani na fai jengwe kilifi. Kwa wukwa utatua kilifi, lakini utapadisha ili barabani na kui jengwe, ikuja jengwe mahali penye inaelekea kwa hoteli yako. To open accessibility. So that is abuse of office. Using powers and privilege at your office to divert resources in this country. So it is about the abuse of office. That is another allegation. Now, the obvious one in the motion also is about sponsoring goons. They are saying that during Gen Z's protest, Rigada Gashagwa sponsored goons to disrupt, disrupt the Gen Z's protest in this country. <laughs> he sponsored goons. That's another issue. Then, 
the issue of promoting tribalism is also on the table. Lastly, Gashago opposing cabinet decision. Most of the cabinet decision, he has been opposing those decisions. So because of this, they believe that this, that this is enough grounds for impeachment of one Rigadi Gashagwa. So without wasting time, I want to leave you here with the full information from NTV. Listen to that. Then please remember to subscribe, like, share, and comment. Thank you and see you in our next video. We begin in politics tonight where an alleged meeting between Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa and President William Ruto where DP Gashagwa allegedly banged the table on his boss in sheer anger after Ruto denied him an 8 billion shilling exit package following sharp differences between the two is said to be at the center of charges that will be leveled against Gashagwa at the floor of the National Assembly next Tuesday. Now, NTV has learned that there are nine other charges in the 40-page impeachment motion that is now ready for tabling. Among them, Gashagwa's use of his office to allegedly divert material that should have been used to construct the Malindi to Kilifi Highway to the construction of a private road leading to a hotel in Kilifi that is linked to him, as well as Gashagwa's accumulation of 5.7 billion shillings in the last two years from other sources, apart from his annual salary of 12 million shillings. NTV's political affairs reporter David Mudoga digs deep into Gashagwa's impeachment motion and for the first time tells you 10 reasons why MPs want to hang Gashagwa out to dry. In 72 hours, the fate of Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa will be in the hands of members of parliament. An unprecedented impeachment motion against the country's second in command is expected to be tabled at the floor of the National Assembly on Tuesday afternoon by one of the over 300 members of parliament who endorsed Gashagwa's historic removal from office. While the week-long drafting of the 40-page motion has been a closely guarded affair, NTV has managed to peruse some of the pages of the motion and spoken to a number of lawmakers privy to it in an attempt to identify the charges that will form the grounds for Gashagwa's impeachment. The motion has up to 10 charges, top among them being Gashagwa allegedly threatened his boss, President William Bruto. Gashagwa is accused of literally banging the desk in sheer anger at a meeting with his boss after Ruto denied him 8 billion shillings that Gashagwa had asked for to walk away and pave the way for Ruto to appoint his replacement after their relationship turned sour. NTV has been told that Gashagwa arrived at 8 billion shillings after multiplying each vote that Ruto got in the Mount Kenya region in 2022 with 4,000 shillings. The second charge is Gashagwa has allegedly accumulated billions of shillings in the past two years that he has been at Harambe House Annex through corruption. In the charge, Gashagwa is accused of allegedly acquiring up to 5.7 billion shillings in just a couple of years, yet his salary per year is 12 million shillings, meaning in the past two years he should have made around 24 million shillings. The third charge that is likely to be leveled against Gashagwa is use or abuse of his office to allocate public resources to himself. Under the charge, Gashagwa is accused of allegedly diverting material that should have been used to construct the Malindi to Kilifi Highway to the construction of a private road leading to a hotel in Kilifi that is linked to him. Other charges that are likely to be leveled against the deputy president include sponsoring goons to disrupt the June, July and August Gen Z demonstrations, thus posing a threat to national security, leaking state secrets despite taking an oath of secrecy, as well as intimidating, threatening and publicly slating leaders and state officials such as some members of parliament and most notably, National Intelligence Service Director General Nudin Haji. 
More charges include promoting tribalism through his shareholder and one man, one vote, one shilling narratives, as well as publicly opposing some of the government policies and cabinet decisions. Following these accusations and others, some members of parliament are convinced that Gashagwa, having meteorically rose from a first-time MP to the second most powerful seat in the country, has had a great run. Other leaders want Gashagwa taken to a court of law. Should he be impeached? Ukabila ni kitu mzuri ama ni mbaya? Sizu wote tulani ukabila? Tulasema shetani yafanya na mnagani? Kenya hayuwezi kuwa kabila moja. Kenya hayuwezi kuwa mtu moja. Kenya ni asisi wote. Oweo ni pepa biblia. Kadanganya mungu, ewe mwenyezi mungu, nisaidie. To run the government. And then you start contradicting the government policies. And yet you sit in the cabinet. You sit in the National Security Committee. And you create a departure. You should be arrested. There is no any country that can tolerate such a person. David Muthoka, NTV.